We are welcome back. Let's continue with um, capital allowance. Uh, at this point, we want to look at um, conditions for granting capital allowance. Um, let's do something here. I think I am seeing a small error here. This should be plantation equipment. Plantation equipment. Plantation. Okay, so um, if we go through my outline of top uh, subtopics I'm supposed to take, let's go through them again. Here we are. I'm done with this. Let's look at conditions for granting capital allowance. Conditions for granting capital allowance. Let's go up here and um, do something on that. Conditions for granting CA. Let's take it now in detail. Granting CA. What are the conditions for granting capital allowance? One, ownership of the asset must not be in dispute. Ownership of the asset must not be in dispute. That is to say, the persons applying for capital allowance must be the bona fide owner of the asset. Ownership, one. Ownership must not be in dispute. Okay, two. And how do you confine bona fide ownership? A true C of O for land, receipts, invoices for other assets. Right? Second condition for granting CA is that the asset must be in use. Asset must be in use. I do this for use. Asset, asset, the end, end of basis period. The asset must be in use as at the end of the basis period. And you can see what I did with in use here. In use here has other meanings. What it means is that, for example, during period of temporary disuse, the asset is still in use. That is, for example, let me give you an example here. You acquired an asset, maybe it was imported into the country, it is still at the wharf, it has not been cleared. Uh, we can still regard it as being in use. Or it is cleared and brought into the factory, it has not been installed. During period of installation, we say the asset is still in use. So from that point, we start counting, uh, calculate, we can start calculating capital allowance for it. Or, there was a machine breakdown. The machine was not in use. We say it is still in use for the purpose of capital allowance. Your workers went on strike and they were not working in the factory. The machines are still in use. So three, the third one is that asset must be used for the purpose of the business. Asset must be, must be used for the purpose of the business. Purpose of the business. So what it means is that where there's element of private use, capital allowance will be prorated accordingly. You must use the asset for the business. We don't want a uh, private use uh, thing. When there's element of private, for example, I have four vehicles, three of them, I use them to move my products to the market. The fourth one I use as private car in the house. For the purpose of capital allowance, it's only that three that I use for the purpose of the business that will be Granted capital allowance. Number four, okay, an, an application must be made in writing. An application, an application in writing. An application must be made in writing to claim capital allowance. Application in writing. And then number five, number five is that where the asset is more than 500,000 naira. Asset is more than 500,000 Naira. A certificate of acceptance will be required. Certificate of acceptance will be required for that asset to be granted um, capital allowance. And what's the meaning of this? What it means is immediately you acquire an uh, asset or a, a capital expenditure that is more than 500,000 Naira. 
You go to the Federal Ministry of Industries Inspectorate Division, and I put all this together. Of course, you pick up forms, fill the forms, and they will give you what is called certificate of acceptance. When the taxman comes for tax audit or for capital allowance computation, and the asset qualifying capital expenditure presented to him is more than five hundred thousand naira. He will ask for a certificate of acceptance for that asset for it to qualify for uh, capital allowance. Are we there? So these are the conditions for granting capital allowance. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, by our next class, we will be talking about um, types of capital allowance.